Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you guys want to see what I put in Caden's Easter basket this year, just keep on watching. So here is a little overview of everything we're going to be putting in Caden's Easter basket. I know it might look a little overboard, but this is the last year I am going to have one child. I will have two children next year, so I thought this is the last year that I can spoil him on Easter. So yeah, we're going out with a bang. So let's get started. I'll show you everything that we're getting, putting in his Easter basket or he's getting for Easter. And yeah, hopefully I can give you guys some ideas for your own kits. So the basket we're using is the exact same basket I used last year. I honestly don't know where I got it. I think it's just been in my family forever. And I just really like the dark wicker basket. Inside I've just put some orange grass there. And then I'm just going to be wrapping it in this cute little bag that I got from Target. Which has all of the Easter eggs on it. Sorry, I'm going to be out of breath in this video. I can already tell. That's what pregnancy does to you. Then I found this giant sticker activity pad and um, this is from Costco. I think we got this for $10. Caden is obsessed with cars and planes, like so obsessed and I thought this would be perfect for camping, uh, especially if it ends up being a cold day. We can sit in our camper and he can draw or just drawing in general in the winter. But yeah, it comes with a whole bunch of pages to draw on. As you can see, it's got the planes on there. And then it's got some activity scenes for you to put the stickers on. And then it has a thousand stickers. My kid loves stickers, so he's going to love that. So, of course, to get with it, I had to buy him some markers. Now, recently, we were at my mother's place this weekend. And I realized that Caden only likes the skinny markers, not the thick ones. He really likes the ones that are tinier. I guess it's easier for him to grip. So, I had to buy him a pack of those. So, yeah, just washable Crayola markers to go with a sticker pad. Now, the sticker pad is huge. As you can see, this is the size of my hand. So, this probably won't go in the basket. It will just go outside of it, and this will go in the actual basket. Then next, I just have this little Easter Bunny bubbles. I think I got him bubbles last year as well, but Caden loves them. I just think it's perfect. It's getting into that spring season. We can be outside and blowing bubbles, and these are like my favorite bubbles ever because they make the biggest, best bubbles ever. Just the ones in this long tube. So I had to get him another one because I have no idea where his old one is. And it's got an Easter bunny on it. So come on. I had to. Then next I found this book. So I thought it would be perfect to put into it. I can't remember how much I paid for it because I bought it quite a while ago. And just been storing it away to throw in something. But it's I'm a big brother. So of course it's just the perfect book to give to Caden to get him ready. That there is going to be a baby in this house in like three and a half months. So yeah, I just thought this would be the perfect little book to throw in. Then here, I got this from Walmart. It was a buck, and these are Safari Animal Grow capsules. I just thought it would be a really cool thing. Apparently, you put them in, and then they grow into different animals, into water, and they grow. So I thought it would be a cool little experiment. He's at the age where maybe he'll get excited and understand that. So for a dollar, it couldn't go wrong. Yeah, so I got that for him just to throw in. As I said, my son is obsessed with cars and he's really into the Cars movie and he likes these better than his Hot Wheels. So I got him this one because he doesn't have it. It's Nigel Gearsley. I don't know who he is in the movie, but I just thought we would throw that in because Caden loves cars. Then Target in Canada is actually closing. So I went to Target and they had this cup and I could not pass it up because it was like 60% off so I don't even know how much I paid for it. But it wasn't a lot. But Caden has really gotten into drinking smoothies so I thought this would be the perfect little smoothie tumbler cup. We could bring it camping or just around the house and it's got just little monsters on it. I just thought it was the cutest thing to throw in to his Easter basket. Then at Walmart, I found this for two bucks. I thought this would be fun to play outside, or I guess in the house it's not really a big deal. But it's just like little rockets. So you put the rockets on this thing and push it, and they will fly up. So I thought it would be easy for him to understand and play with, and they're soft, so no one's going to get hurt. And it was just two bucks. Then I also got this from Walmart, and it is actually a bowling set. These are the bowling pins and the bowling balls, and it was two bucks. And I thought it was so cute, and it's Easter themed with the little Easter bunnies. And it'd be just super cute to set up and play either outside or inside. It's just a new little game, and for two dollars, you couldn't go wrong. Then next, we're kind of getting into candies because I did 
spoil Caden with the treats and candies this year just because I know he's not going to be the only one to eat them. I know that Corey and I will end up eating some of his chocolates, but my son is obsessed with marshmallows, like obsessed with marshmallows. So I saw these, and these are real hoppy marshmallow rabbits, so I could not pass this up because Caden, like, he would do anything for a marshmallow. He loves marshmallows so much. So I had to get him this little bag of marshmallows. Then I just got this three pack of cream eggs. The, to be honest, these are my favorite treat ever, ever, ever. So I know I'll be eating at least one of these. So I got them and I don't know if with the candy if we're going to put them in the basket or if I'm going to hide them around. I'm just not sure yet, but I had to get cream eggs because those are my favorite. Then I just got him a Kinder Surprise. I know lots of kids his age are obsessed with surprise eggs and all that. So I had to get him this Kinder Surprise and it's like a giant one so it comes with a bigger toy. So it's just like the little chocolate egg with a toy inside and I think he'll really enjoy it because he's never had something like that. And again, with the marshmallows, my son loves marshmallows, so I had to get him a marshmallow egg. I also got him a Reese's peanut butter egg. This is just one of my favorites as well, but I know he'll love it. He loves peanut butter, and you know, they deserve a treat. He doesn't really get chocolate any other time, so. Then I got him a little Smarties egg, just an egg with Smarties. I got him two suckers, because he loves lollipops and well he's only had them twice but I just thought they were like on sale and I was like well might as well just throw them in and there's something we can throw in the diaper bag if he's having a meltdown you can have a lollipop and then I've got these kinder mini eggs now these ones I might just make like a little trail going to his Easter basket with but they're just the little eggs and they're not like the hard ones because they're like the soft center so yeah I don't know just got this for him and last but not least, we got him this chocolate fire truck. Now, I think this is more for Corey than Kaden. Kaden won't probably eat this. If you guys know, my fiance is a firefighter, so it was just, it had to be put. I don't know if it'll go in the basket, it'll probably go beside. But yeah, it's just like a little chocolate fire truck, which is super cute. And most kids get chocolate bunnies, right? So we just got our son a chocolate fire truck. <laughs> But yeah, I'm assuming this will be eaten by Cory. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so that's all that I have to put in his Easter basket. So yeah, I will now just assemble it. Caden's completed Easter basket. Um, yes, yeah, so I hope this gave you guys some ideas of what to put in your kid's Easter basket. As I said, Caden is a little spoiled this year because it's the last year that he's going to be my only child. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Mwah! Bye!